The icon can also prove to be extremely valuable during the counting of all of your inventory in your pharmacy. Whether it's a single shelf unit, all of your C2s, some random cycle counts, you simply select the physical inventory mode and press continue. I've got the login feature in, so we can simply scan my barcode, and now the icon knows who counted those particular drugs in your inventory process. Now we scan the stock bottle, and it's ready to count. So let's say for this particular drug, I've got two full stock bottles. What I'm going to do is press the unit of use button, and now the icon prompts me that that's a 325 count bottle that we just scanned. I press OK, and the icon shows 325 counted, zero on the tray. Let's say I've got another full bottle. I scan that one to make sure it's the right drug. So I don't want to combine dissimilar drugs. Press the unit of use, hit OK again. So I've got 650 in my two full bottles. Now I'm going to scan my open bottle, pour my pills on the tray, flatten them out. As you can see, there's a couple of objects on the tray that the icon's flagging out to me. We have some broken pills in our bottle here, so I'll remove those. And now the icon's giving me a count again. So, so I've got 116 on the tray, 766 total. I could cram a few bit more on the tray, but rather than do that, I just hit add to total. The icon records those dump those into the funnel, take them out of the funnel into a temporary vial, and it's ready to count more. Pour the rest from the same bottle onto the tray, and I've got 94 more, bringing me to a total of 860. Press the finish button, and records that transaction. Now, if we have an interface with your pharmacy system, they may be able to import the data into their system and update the data automatically. If we don't have that feature with your pharmacy software provider, talk to them and tell them you really want them to add that into the, their interface with the icon. This concludes the inventory counting process on the icon.